Welcome back to the 10th episode of a random playthrough of Conquest of Elysium 5 on my channel, hell, and uh, we are still going with the Necromancer on count difficulty with Wild Unable. And things are both looking better and worse at the same time, hell. So with that being said, let's pass on to the next turn. Okay, he did not seem too keen to... He moved once and then didn't go any further, so maybe it's not too keen on attacking my army. I am keen on raising more dead before attacking his, so we kind of have a lot of weak stuff. Ah, these are... okay. They're terrible, but yeah, no problem, he took them out. He did get a uh, affliction, though. Which should be removed fairly soon, uh, since he's immortal. Ah, it got removed immediately, actually, so that's not a problem. Uh, let's just try to figure out where this uh, Baron guy has all his, uh, like his main stuff. Where is this castle? Hmm. Either way, we're gonna have Damien go up to the next level here and, okay, get ambushed by something. Well, let's hope it's nothing too bad. We're gonna take Hedonica, sir, and, uh... Walk him onto the coal mine because there's some dead here for sure. Then maybe we can detach the necromancer's, necromancer's apprentice. And raise dead. No action points left. Okay, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't want to attack them yet because, I mean, they're not too keen on attacking me either. We do have a banshee here, but that's one banshee. So I wasn't really that much too higher up this turn. We'll go for some more. Uh, Let's get some crossbowmen, maybe, actually. Over there. Oh, and just that wolf doesn't mess with our day so here, we get some swordsmen as well. I mean, sorry, some archers here. And that's all we could do. Moving on to next month, there's a new Baron army coming in. He summoned that up in the guard tower, though. Maybe we can take that guard tower, and that's his last citadel. Oh, if we take on the city as well. So he didn't choose to go... Into the city to raise up that army. Five spearmen for 51 gold. That's a bad deal. What are we up against, though? Ah, a couple of dispossessed spirits. It's not too bad. What is too bad is if this guy attacks again, though, because he could kill our guys off. I certainly don't want that, but it turned out fine, I guess. So, on a quest to find this uh, Baron, we are just going to continue scouting here, and it's kind of where he has to be down in this area, then. So this castle could be over here, I suppose. He seemingly doesn't really have that much. Uh, yeah, he, he went for the High Lord here, rather than there, but I guess he wants to just link this army up with this army. I would assume, anyway. Uh, there should be dead in this village as well, the race up, but... Um, oh, damn it, we can't... Move that necromancer anymore right now. Oh, so we can't use him this turn, but yeah. Hendrix is overwhelmed by the presence of the dead here, so we can maybe raise a fairly substantial army of dead here now. Five spearmen, 51. That's, I'm going to pass on that. Um, but I am going to get five more archers here, though. So maybe we can get a commander here and then attack these. Wolf I just really don't like these ancient forests that are just keeping on spamming out units at us. Okay, so maybe if we can control the... 37, insanity. Uh, but every single damn turn almost, it feels like that guy is just insane. So yeah, I want to take this. That's what I'm here to take. So the uh, pesky piece of crap Baron does not have it. Yeah, he's gonna link those armies so. Huh. Man, is this guy annoying. Man, is it annoying that we keep being the ones that are under pressure all the damn time here. Huh? I mean, we could give up this middle area, but I don't want to. It, it's giving us good income all the time. And these other people, like, there was a lot of this stuff that the Baron just had in secure, so they don't even care. They just, they want this. Right, and that's quite frustrating for me, actually. Okay, village. I don't know. Maybe we just go back down here and see if we can find that guy. 
I'm not sure. Right, we go over here. We have this cloud hamlet at least. Right, let's see if we can uh, raise dead here. It should raise a substantial amount since there's four skulls, so. Very nice. Yeah, I don't care about those. And a bunch of these. Right, so. We're starting to have a substantial army here for sure. What's this insanity level at now, though? 47. So it's still somewhat useful to us. This entire army adds up to 216 units now. Trash units, but I don't know, it might work out. We could get a captain, let's do that exact. In fact, I mean, then we can't get any more archers or anything, but that's fine. We can call him uh, Monte since he's about to go into the mountains. Chase down these freaking wolves and then go up here and secure some stuff, I believe. We're starting to lose control of this again, which is so freaking annoying, but what can I do? Yeah, reinforces are always coming for me now. Okay, but we can ambush him if he comes through here, or I don't know, he'll probably see us actually. From having these other things that he has. But if we just chill on this mountain spire for a turn, then that could be good. Recruitment offer, two cloud folk ladies for 75 gold. Wait, where can I get that exactly? I can't actually recruit that anywhere though. That's freaking weird. Either way, we're gonna summon up a scout tail go with this guy and screw it I think we're just gonna have some crossbowmen for him as well and then we can walk out it's basically a ranged army but it should be enough to deal with the wolves and hopefully anything that should be in this area these two little soulless they're just wandering around and being annoying not good they're not dangerous they're just annoying if we take this graveyard here that could be good stop spawning out stuff but we're gonna lose control of it soon again anyway so yeah, might not be too much point to do. We have 163 hands of the dead right now. So please tell me we can... Yes, okay. So what we're going to do is uh, use major summoning twice. I just need to get my phone real quick. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what we got there actually. What did we get? I didn't watch it. Let's see. What new is in this army? Abyssian and Necromancer commanding zero units. Oh, it's uh, another one of these. Nice, we could definitely use that right now. Then we use special power again, another major summoning. Please, something good, another Banshee. Oh my lord, I do not want the Banshees. Seriously, stop giving me Banshees. What the fuck? I just, I really don't want Banshees. I, I, I simply don't. But this guy, he flies around, so we can uh, start uh, capturing some stuff in the... Uh, cloud layer here with this guy. And we call him for uh, Clorex. Whoops. What am I doing? I miss typing so bad. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we have two of those. Actually, that's pretty nice. I, I wouldn't mind more of these to just kind of fly around and roam in the land to give us info. And capture things that are unguarded. And then also, uh, yeah, just generally be a bit worrisome for our enemy. There's still a bunch of dead here. Can this guy, we cannot control a necromancer right now. I mean, we got twice his army size. If this isn't going to end well for us, then I'm going to cry. We're taking him on. I know we have a lot of trash units. But that is a lot of trash units too, so... It should be, um, I don't know, it should work. I'm seriously hoping at least that it will. We just passed the next month. Yeah, we did win that battle. 
probably use some more summons before we try to take on a Baron with this army, though. Battle in the forest. Let's see how it went down. Yeah, we're losing basically all our soulless there. Uh, now the Banshee's in the front line. Yep, she is doing some good there. Hopefully she doesn't die. Oh, she is doing very good. Like, if, if you got Banshees in an army like this, they're just full of undead. Then they're pretty good. But if you have human troops and such yourself, then it's not so good. However, oh my lord, the Banshee alone is just being the MVP here. No doubt about it. Never healing wound and feeble-minded, though. Well, she's doing good. How does she not affect this guy? Magic to two. Morale plus two, poison assistance, magic assistance, wind guide, strength plus one. Ah, well, we lost the Banshee. Hopefully we just don't lose too many of our archer units. Actually, we do have quite a few archer units of various types, so it might not matter that much, but we certainly don't want to take on the Baron with this army, I can tell you that much. We might want to run away, actually, get back to the city that we have. We did lose 145 units, two archers, six crossbowmen, bunch of long dead, basically all our little, no, sorry, our uh, soulless. We have one soulless left. And four little soldiers. We might just leave those behind, actually, if that means that we can move safer or faster. The thing is, if we can, we cannot use the necromancer that's turned to summon up anything. But we can go over to the city here and see what we can get. Um, now the banshee is gone, so that's something at least. I think we just attach all this to our army here. And leave these slow pieces of trash. And maybe get... Um... Right, so how's the front lines looking? Yeah, we have enough front lines, I guess. Second line front line as well with the pike and nails. Uh, that might be bad for us at this point, actually. Uh, I wouldn't mind some banefire archers, actually. Let's get some of those. Can we then also get... No, that counted as a recruitment this turn. But if we look at the Bane, uh, Banefire Archers. They have the Banefire Bow, they want the 3 damage, and if it hits the target, it will uh, inflict it with decay, although that's easily negated. But it now becomes a uh, 2 to 5 damage thing here, as it has this magic damage on top of its arrow damage. And that's armor negating, so they become quite useful, particularly against uh, the armies of the Baron. I want to take on these centipedes, but I don't want to leave the castle right now. Alright, let's see. Where did that uh, Baron army go? He's over here now. Okay. So we just attack. And hopefully we take on these, or take out these damn archers fairly soon. I don't know where this wolf is roaming around. Uh, let's go up here. Cut over the mountain. Etc. Take this graveyard here, check out the surrounding area. I mean, there's a lot that hasn't been touched here. It's closer to the enemies than, like... There's a lot near them that they don't care about. They don't secure it up or anything. Meanwhile, they're up in my area here all the fucking time with their armies. I don't get it. Why the hell? So annoying. So annoying. There's nothing more we could hire here, right? No. Okay. Alright, we passed on. Okay. Oh no, he fucking won that. Barely won that. Oh my god. Oh, we're down a fucking army then. Fuck me. Okay, it's not necessarily so bad, but it is kind of bad though. Oh, 
Oh, yes, the Banshee came in handy there, I'll tell you. She's eradicating a few of our units as well, though. But the enemy would probably do it otherwise, so... We would probably take more casualties if she didn't, possibly. I don't know, we lost five swordmen, three crossbowmen. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not too bad, actually. Not too good either, but at least not too bad. Alright, so how did this go and stay exactly? Uh, sucks though we lost this entire army. Hopefully he lost his commander at least. But there's always these recurring or reoccurring armies the enemies keep sending and it's so freaking annoying. I'm just hoping I've done enough damage to the Baron now to limit his uh, conscription and effectiveness in general. I mean, we aren't doing too bad. No, we aren't doing, doing too good either. Hmm. Honestly, this really doesn't look too bad, but we are losing it, though. We did not kill his... Did we kill his knight? I guess these fucking cloud units. That's the main issue here. He's got a bunch of cloud units. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, this was a close call. Hey, the knight. Okay, yeah, the, the, his guy died at least, so he had. Alright, what was the handle salt? We lost everything. And he lost. He has three units remaining. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a ferric victory for him. Oh no. Well, that's not good. Well, he's gonna reform in our base, sir. Uh, it's fine. Then we can send him down somewhere else to be useful, I suppose. Uh, there's that freaking wolf. Let's just get rid of him. He's annoying as hell. Then we'll probably go back and pick up some more units. Let's uh, get some swordsmen, actually. Alright, so we have this castle here. We could probably go for some cloudfolk archers while we're here. Pick up those, five of those. They are ethereal and have uh, magic weaponry. So that will negate armor resistance. I think. Maybe not. Magic resistance negates, but with great difficulty. Hmm, okay. We've at least denied this from our enemy now. And now we can... Now this is ours. And we can go and mess with the Baron stuff a bit more. Um... Okay, we'll just keep exploring the cloud layer. I'm not going to mess with this cloud city. It's just going to lead to a lot of casualties, and I don't really care that much about it, if I'm honest. Uh, we need a new army going in this general area here, though. Oh, well, we need to send our other army back to deal with this. To retake this, and then go south again, I guess. Annoying. But it is what it is, so what can I do? Damn it, now these fucking animals are roaming around here. I hate these goddamn ancient forests. I just want them to not be there and or at least be able to capture them and have them stop spawning in shit. Oh, look at that, we got attacked by all this shit, so that's never gonna end well. At least a lot of them died, I guess. Like. 8 out of 11, after killing my guy, of course, but still. Four giant ants, right. Go back here, we pick up um, the swordsman, I suppose. And we have both those two guys coming in here now. And we can then start really harassing the Baron with them, I think. Uh, we'll use both these to harass the Baron, if we can put more pressure on him. And that's going to put us in a much better position. Either way, we're going to enter gateway. Down didn't really look like there was too much of interest over there anymore anyway. 
And then we're gonna head over here. Try to take back the city. What's this guy got? Debilitating wound. Lost half its strength. Doesn't matter when he's got the demon whip anyway. It's doing one damage plus effect, so... It's not too bad. What is too bad is the fact that we keep having to deal with everything spawning out in these fucking ancient forests. And they're retaking this stuff up here as well. Too little soulless. Like, they have one damage. They're trash. They're absolutely trash. We're gonna summon this goblin guy in here. Which he is also trash. Who attacks first? Initiative 2. Initiative 3. Uh, okay, so we're gonna hang on a turn then, recruit some stuff with him and try to take out these and then just reclaim whatever we lost over here. I think that's the way forward for now. Not a huge fan of how things are going. Oh, look at that. Okay, we can take on that army when it's outside. Hmm. Wealthy motion came ashore. Dragon Wolf. I got no idea where that is. Alright, either way, uh, we take this army with us, and we go and retake the stuff that we lost over here. Oh, dispossessed spirits roaming around. Why do they keep appearing? They're annoying as hell. Either way, let's get some, uh, just regular archers, I suppose. And then we take these goddamn spirits on. Rename this guy to... Necesso. This is a necessity. Right, send this guy flying over here to scout out a little bit and start harassing the Baron. Right, okay. Yeah, I guess we just take that down, actually. How does, like, one guy here pushing our dudes further back? That's not ideal. I might just leave him behind, if I'm honest, so that they are closer to the front ranks. And if we could get the Draco Lich away as well, then these guys would be closer to the front rank. Oh no! The Assassin's Deceased! Is that from this guy? Oh, fuck this goddamn piece of shit dragon. I'm just gonna leave him in a castle. Fuck, we're losing our Assassin because of that stupid-ass dragon. I don't know, I'm... Necromancer is fun in the summoning dead parts, but when it comes to this disease and shit that just affects your own troops, it's so fucking annoying. Ah. Yeah, fuck those guys. Fuck these guys as well, obviously. Oh, look at that. Yeah, hit my own guys. Didn't even hit the enemy. Yeah, I I'm not dragging this guy along with me anymore. He is detrimental to have. Fuck the Draco Lich. Lost and long dead. Nah, could be worse. Show sports of War 5 when we didn't get five things that we didn't already have. Oh, dispossessed spells. They're just one hit point though, but they're ethereal. So, yeah, we're not winning that. Okay, where the hell was that exactly? I mean, fuck all these roaming spirits. In fact, fuck a lot of the stuff that I'm dealing with here right now. We got, what, early winters so when we just walk past the frozen sea? Wait a minute, that guy's on frozen sea. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's always something. Fucking dispossessed spirits, piss off and die. Ah oh, man, there's always something. <sighs> yeah, well, hmm. Our next turn we can do a major summon. We're just gonna take on these centipedes now, go up and secure this, go back here with a little bit stronger of an army. Maybe we bring the dragon for that actually, and then leave him there afterwards. I think I'm gonna send this guy up this way so we can take some stuff here and just see what's up in this general area. 
We're probably gonna lose this chief now with the searchers. Okay, sent off a smaller force there, retaking some stuff. I guess he's trying to get a little bit of stuff for his uh, little bit of hamlets and whatnot for when the conscription phase comes through. Please die, you fucking piece of shit spirits. Thank you. Battle in the plane. And yeah, the Draco Lich keeps killing our stuff. I love it. I freaking love it. Attacking the village. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. Doesn't really matter though. Where, where are they spawning up from? From this tower hell? Jesus Christ, this place is a mess now. Fucking hell. Now we're just attacking this, screw it. And please, can a Draco Lich stop attacking at all times, even when there's no freaking enemies in range? I mean, what the hell even is that? Okay, we got back these things. I'm still a bit annoyed though. Not gonna lie. What's over here? Hmm. Not something we can attack, that's for sure. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so we can take this now, and then we go back, and we clear out these things, get them back, harass the Baron, to some degree. It's just putting out fires, running around putting out fires, that's all I'm doing. I'm not really enjoying it. If I'm gonna be honest. Just, it ain't really that fun. Okay, well at least those guys attacked the enemy city and died, so that's good, I guess. Hey, the Draco Lich was an absolutely trash for once. Nice. So what can we recruit in here? Should we recruit something in here is also a question to ask. I mean, possibly, but I think frontline units would be the way to go. So let's get these Pikeners. It's not exactly front front lines, it's like back row front line units, preferably, but... Well, they prefer it that way anyway. But yeah, just move down here and retake this city now, and then we need to also get all this other stuff, like these freaking coal mines and whatnot. So with something, something in this coastal hamlet though. We're taking that down with everything we have here. It's gotta be just some stupid ass dispossessed spirits that keep appearing every fucking where. Right, I'm ready to take on these giant ants. We've reclaimed our tower, sir, and our abandoned mine. Kind of curious to see. Okay, it's just like a tiny island, seemingly. Not something to worry too much about, then. Yes, keep your army outside the castle. Fantastic. We're gonna go and attack those guys. Coastal hamlet. Dispossessed spirits again, as kind of expected. Come on. Really though, really? Oh my lord, for fuck's sake. <sighs> One unit drowned in shallow sea. What the fuck? It's a flying unit. How do you, you joking? I mean, they're both back here, but what the fuck? The flying units? What are you talking about drowned in a shallow sea? Just fly. Alright, we're just gonna get some archers up and help. Just so that uh, these animals can roam into the city and capture it. Okay, we could maybe... Uh, do we have access to our necromancer right now? We do. So we can use special power, major summoning. Satmog the Death Knight. It's got necromancy level 2. Hmm. That's pretty decent. Mid ranks. Alright. Alright. Cast spell Lance Charge. Oh, please don't be using Lance Charge. Just stay alive instead. Fiery Breath on a Horse. I don't know. I'm a bit discouraged, so like I, because I want to, you know. Oh, it's got regain sanity. Sanity will decrease by this amount every month. And sanity is usually gained by using a raised dead ritual. Can he do that? He can. Oh my. That's really good. Fuck yeah, we'll waste that. He's also functioning as a commander. That's very nice. 
Fuck yeah, okay, we'll leave him behind now though. Oh, that's very good. No, no, he's got four action points, he can still move. Damien's gonna take control of him though, and his entire army, huh? And uh, yeah, okay, very nice, very fucking nice. What spells do you have? Drain life, nice, dark power, one to seven, three strikes. Weakness, burst 25. Yeah, 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 let's do weakness, I guess, or should we? I mean, it's pretty front. He's in the middle though, so he's got good reach with his stuff as well. That's a good, that's good, that's really freaking good, actually. Okay, let's just disperse these items here onto various guys. Like, this guy's unarmed, he can have the whip. Do we have any more? Unarmed, undead, and he regains sanity as well. That's just so good. Wow, I am happy we got this guy. Holy fuck, that's going to be extremely useful for us. Major summoning of the year, basically. Why, why do we get banshees instead of a ton of these? If we got these instead of banshees, we'd be a lot better off right now. I can tell you that much. Okay, that's an unarmed undead. We're going to give him that. Chest wound, never healing wound on a banshee. Oh, we still have a banshee. Well, I guess it ain't so bad now. Front lines are undead. And we actually do have a front line. Thanks to getting that major summoning there. Really paying off for us. Uh, Bottle, spirit, and seeing stone. I guess that belonged to our assassin, which we unfortunately no longer have. Gonna have to hope we can get another one of those. I feel like there should be one more magical item here. Like a sword. There was a sword. We had a sword, for sure. I'm not seeing it, though. I think we might have lost it because there wasn't anyone who could carry it. Fuck. Well, that sucks. Either way, um, bye bye, Baron Army, and we're taking that city back as well. Then we're gonna leave the Banshee and this guy in the city. So I'm tired of the friendly fire. This fucker taking on my silver mine now. We're gonna kill these freaking giant ants. There's always something. Now there's more stuff up here we need. There's one dispossessed spirit just annoying the shit out of me. Where does he come from, though? Does he come from the fairy circle? I didn't think they spawned that. Or are you just roaming in from the ocean or some shit? For frick's sake. Either way, I'll we'll do one more turn. Oh, that's another one of his armies. I think that might be more of a priority than uh, the city right now. He's got a monk. Ooh, don't hope he has any ability to banish my stuff. Necromancer's Apprentice. Hell yeah, I hope we can afford it. Fucking... Giant ant. Lost a lot there, actually. This should be an easy win. Yeah, this, this dragon, it needs to go. It needs to go. But it's not working out for me to have this dragon. I mean, sure it's good-ish, but it's also really fucking annoying. Right, I'm gonna get this Necromantos Apprentice here. Necromancers, I keep saying Necromantos for some reason. Wish I could kind of shake that off, but I haven't been able to so far. Bolt of Fun Life, that's an interesting thing. Reanimation, okay, sure. Not the worst uh, level one Necromancer I've seen in my life. Clodomir, we're gonna call him Klaus. Klaus. Klaus with a K sounds. Better Klaus. There we go. And dead sensed. Overwhelmed by the presence of dead. Yeah, we're gonna raise dead. Well, hello. That's a thick front line. Wow, he's gonna be very insane after this, I think. Yeah, insanity already 33. But hey, we have a decent army though. That we can, you know, give to someone else, if nothing else. Okay, we're gonna see if we can unhinge this guy for now. And just use special power, raise dead. Right, there might not be that many dead though, actually. Yeah, that's a bit wasteful. Ah, I should have paid attention to how many dead was actually there. 
Uh, but whatever. We'll leave him out for one turn and do we attack this? I think we wait. I think we wait. Now we just uh, uh, add this guy back to the forces. So. Although, we have pretty decent forces, I'm not gonna lie. The scepter right there. Does that push people back? Yeah, it pushes people back one rank. Hmm. This guy would be in a mid rank. No, let's not have it on him. Let's give it to... Uh, I don't know, who's, this guy's got some hit points. Alright, so. There we go. Have that scepter a little bit further forward. Oh no, he's mid rank because he has the scepter. Okay, now we just give it back to the guy that had it, I guess. Whatever he might be. Uh, actually, we'll give it to this guy. Then this guy needs to give his stuff away to that guy, and then there we go. There we are. Right, we should be able to take that army on. It's just like basic human units, mostly. Plus say prayer level 1, Rama the Monk. Hmm. Could probably go and claim this town back with this guy. In fact, let's head towards it. The stuff we could use more command ourselves for anyway. Feels a strong presence of the dead. Uh, yeah, we can maybe raise more dead, I suppose. 33% insanity, though. It's kind of a gamble, because I do want to use that guy. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Alright. So he has now just put himself in a pretty shitty position. And he doesn't even know it, so... He's insane. Fucking hell, of course he is. Well, either way, maybe we can summon up some more dead. Oh, not here, though. Maybe there's some dead here. Yep, there's a lot of dead here. A lot of these places will have a lot of dead by this point in time. Uh, so we're gonna race dead. Hell yeah. Then we just give all that to Damien. And we attack this piece of trash over here. And we got Clorex ready to do some of our bidding over here. And Rex as well. I haven't really captured this Iron Man. It's just like a little bit inconvenient to go back with a large enough force that we can actually take him on with. Yeah, we need to go down here and claim back some stuff from the Baron and just really be a nuisance to him. Might be risky going through this forest, actually, but oh well. We'll take this village back. Klaus with his insanity. That did not last long. But he's got a massive army, though, at least. Uh, so I think we're just going to end this episode now. I haven't really kept track of time, but I think we're way past the 30-minute mark, so... Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I mean, there's always uh, the option to drop a like on it, I suppose. Completely up to you. Either way, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.